Hi, it's David from Oklahoma Ham Radio, the YouTube channel, and also OklahomaHamRadio.com. Today I'm going to be putting a ground plate down here from DX Engineering and also making this antenna mask to where I can rotate it. I'm sorry, not rotate it, but tilt it. Uh, so stick around if you uh, would please like and subscribe. That helps more ham radio operators find this content or people interested in amateur radio operations. Thank you. So what I've got to install is this uh, ground radio plate and that tilt. And there's a good reason that I want that tilt. So I just took the mask down to get it down. I had to lift it up out of that pole. And in doing so, I lost balance on it. And show you here, I cracked this piece right there. So this is no longer being held stably and this came off nothing that can't be replaced or repaired uh, repaired really but uh, anyway that's uh, what happens when you don't have a tilt and you've got a rotator up there at the top of the mast which is pretty darn heavy so anyway I'm gonna get to putting all this stuff on so that issue is no longer a problem for me so about the time i was ready to stand up the antenna it started raining so i had to stop what i was doing but uh, just to give you a look at it there's the oh the hinge from dx engineering i think it'll work well there's the plate i don't have it really put in yet where my wires are coming out of. I'm using these guy rings that I 3D printed for some support, uh, holding a, you know, to hold wires at this point. Um, I'm also using them here. I went ahead uh, and used some, some D rings. And I put them over those guy rings like so to uh, try to uh, hold them in place. But that's what I'm using for guy supports right now is those D-rings. And then coming on up here, that's the uh, duplexer. And then I've got another, the guy rings up here. Um, so this one broke. And it broke because, not because of the weather or anything. It broke when we were trying to stand it up the last time. Um, my son had a hold of that, had a hold of a rope that was right here, and we were lifting it, and he was pulling very hard on that, and it finally broke. So you can imagine that was putting weight down this way, and it snapped it. So um, that's the, yeah, the 450 with ants all over it. They're going to go for a ride here in a little bit, and then... There's that cubicle quad. So I measured, I'm at about 28 feet right now. I did go ahead and replace that white rope with the uh, paracord. I'm going to try to guy it at the top up there, which uh, let's see, that would be that 24 foot and at about. 16 foot so we'll see how that goes but this is the the hinge when it lifts up these bolts sit inside of this groove and hold it up in place um, it's kind of how it how it works so i've got the antenna raised now i've got it up at about 25 foot um, this fiberglass poles, they're not real sturdy. Um, when you go to trying to lift the antenna up, uh, so it's fine when it's up, 
but there was quite a bow when I was trying to lift it. So here is the tilt plate installed. The uh, ground plate, I've just got something down there. Obviously, I wanted to get that on, you know, when I could get to it without having to take the antenna all back apart again. So, um, anyway, it is back up. It was not a one-man job to lift the antenna back up in place because of the flex in the poles. If I had much sturdier poles, a much sturdier mast then it would have been fine I think so that antenna that rotator on top of the antenna is just so heavy so it put quite a bit of strain on those those poles trying to lift it with 28 plus foot of of pole so anyway um, so what do I think about that tilt plate it's a whole lot better than what I had installation wasn't bad at all uh, you do need to follow the manual there is one part that i well i'll go ahead and show you the bolts on the bottom are supposed to be going out the other direction i don't think that it matters i just think that they were concerned that your bolts when you put them in may interfere with the bolts you know that you use to to mount your mast to the outside of that that uh tilt plate so uh, a couple other things i did change i got these little aluminum rings i think that they'll be stronger than any 3d printed part but uh, i didn't have any problem with these spreaders in fact the 3d printed spreaders as you can see we're holding up just fine there's no no issue with them now i did print them with tin outer and inner walls but they're solid without a doubt um, but i did put those rings on there i'm still using the sky ring tensioners here they work well and the uh on the guy rings themselves I went with some D clips and just fit them over the guy rings there. Um, I think that that is a more permanent solution. I am using one of the guy rings here just to tie things off like extra wire, get it up off the ground and all that good stuff. Um, I could just pull all that back through and, and wrap it back close to the shack, which is what I'll probably do. But back up again and uh, I'm pretty pleased with all of these parts so was this a one-man job yep it was one man job to get the plates and everything installed that wasn't a problem at all the uh, tilt was a one-man job for sure the the ground plate obviously is just sitting on the the concrete at this point I did get the ground radial wire and I'll start making ground radials and get those, you know, attached and, you know, measured and ends put on and attached and all that good stuff. Um, I don't have the ground plate attached to the, the support pole that's coming out of the ground yet. I just haven't done that yet. Um, I'll probably wait to do that until I see how much clearance I'll need for the bolts just to see how high I want to mount that. Um, other than that, is the one-man job to stand up a fiberglass, you know, surplus military fiberglass mask at 28 foot with the Yesu 450 on the top? Uh, definitely not. Uh, I felt like I was going to break those fiberglass poles. So my son came over and grabbed the guy wires and pulled so that the pressure you know was off of the end of the pole as we tilted it up um, with 24 foot 25 foot yeah you you might be able to do that but 28 was just too much of a of a bow in those fiberglass surplus military poles that are there so 
I'm happy. I'm up uh, another four foot over what I was before. A little higher than that, actually, about another five foot because this pole was sitting inside of that tube, which was down into the ground. Oh, probably two and a half, three foot uh, down that pole. Um, so now that is added on to the height because it's now attached down here. And I added one more pole. So it's actually probably about six foot additional height roughly uh, to the mast. So anyway. There you go. Thanks guys, 73.